Time for another instructional. We've got Andy Ness out here skating and skills coach for the Minnesota Wild. We've got wild forward Zach Parisi and hand-eye coordination is something you hear all the time tossed around in all sports. But in hockey now, because of the traffic, the big bodies around, pucks flying through the air, it's a big part of the game. Yeah, it is a big part of the game. I remember when I was even younger, you know, the, the coaches always say, tell the D, shoot it on the ice, shoot it on the ice. Well, now what happens? It hits the first guy's skate and it's going the other direction. So guys are unbelievably good at this. You'll see guys catch passes at full speed, knock them out of the air. So we'll show you a couple of drills that we can do. You make your living, Zach, in the slot and around the net. You're not the, the most big player out there, but you find a way to make it happen. This is a big part of that? It is. Uh, I. I like, you know what, you look at, it's so hard to beat the goalies now on a clean shot, and, and you got to be able to get sticks on pucks, and it's a pretty simple thing to practice. Everyone played baseball growing right. up, you know what I mean? It's just, like I told you before, my dad said, it's just like bunting, you got to put your bottom hand a little lower and, and meet the puck, and uh, you can't be up here like this, it's just like this, and, and it makes it a little easier. And cool. one area you'll notice too is he can show you where he tips, and you'll be able to see where he knocks the puck down, where he tips it. Some kids get confused as to where they should tip it on their stick, whether it's the shaft or the blade of their stick. So Zach can show you kind of where he's going to tip that puck. I'm trying to get right here. Right on the heel. If it's shaft, a lot of times that's on accident. Right. You know I mean, that's, still that's a hard thing to makes do. Makes it difficult for the goalie if it hits that. Yeah. That's bottom hard. line, you want to make contact, but if you can, you have more control here. I'm trying to get it here and I'm trying to tip it down. I'm, I'm never going like this. I'm always trying to tip it down. Bring it down because the goalie's going up. Bring down the goalie's up like this yep. and all of a sudden you get down, rebound, you never know. but. I'm always trying to knock it down rather than up. We'll bring baseball to hockey. We'll combine those two right now. Yep. Show us the drill. Let's try the knockdown first. Okay. All right, so we're going to give him a pass, a saucer pass. He's going to knock it down, and then right after, he's going to shoot. That's impressive. That's really impressive. Wow. He didn't miss one. Didn't miss one. Holy now cow. Now we're going to shift gears and now we're going to do tipping. Like you see all the time, defensemen shooting it. Guys are really, really good at this and there's a reason they're good at it because they do drills like this and they work at it. They practice it. Ready? Wow. Just to clarify, this is our first take. This is not cut up. <laughs> he hit every single one and you're right from those pucks from maybe 20 feet away. This certainly takes some time to develop those skills, but for a young hockey player, uh, that is something you can really pay dividends with when the season starts. It is. Uh, we, we practice it a lot. Um, you know, the way I look at it, and anytime you can get a little, try to get a little advantage. I mean, if this is four extra goals, five extra goals, you're going from 25 to 30 or 15 to 20, and you got to find different ways to score. Goalies are tough to beat, and I found this is a, a good way to, to get your stick on some pucks and get some extra ones. If you're a baseball player, you can transform those skills and be a better hockey player. If you're not, work on that hand-eye coordination. You'll score five extra goals a year, and who knows how many wins that'll mean for your hockey team.